This video is going to show you how to add and subtract numbers according to the rules of significant figures. To begin with, I have a little problem that I've created. It's a sample calculation. First thing you want to do is do the math. Do the calculation, keep all the decimals in every single step, and get an answer with a whole bunch of decimals. Now when we apply significant figures, we're going to figure out where to round this number. So if we're going to round it to the tens place, the ones place, or all the way down to the thousands place. So we're going to figure out where to round this number using the rules of significant figures after we've already done the calculation once. So the first thing I want to do is I want to take all the numbers and I'm going to line them up vertically when I'm adding or subtracting. So I've lined them all up vertically. And now what I'm going to do is figure out where the estimated number is in my significant figures. So I go through my rules of significant figures and I determine the 9 on the far right, the 5, and the 7 in the tenths place. Now your final calculation at 37.514 is only as good as your worst estimation. That is the number that is the largest. Or in other words, when it's lined up like this vertically, it's the estimated number that's farthest left, which in this case is the 7. Since the 7 is the farthest left, I'm going to round my answer of 37.514 to the same place as that number that's farthest to the left, in this case the tenths place. So the 37.514 uh, 514 is rounded to the tenths place, just like this uh, 7, and that's going to be 37.5. Let's take a look at a second example problem. So in this example problem, I'll do the same thing I did before and do the math, and just for the ease of calculation, I'm going to line everything up vertically. So I'm going to rewrite everything so it's all lined up, and I've got my answer of 18.500, but I've got to figure out, again, where to round this. So I'll look at my numbers and figure out where my sig figs are and my estimated numbers. So the 1 is estimated. The, in the second problem, 4.51, the 1 is estimated. 5.27, the 7 is estimated. And 7.720, the O is estimated in the um, thousands place. My worst calculation is in the 1's place, because that top number up there, the 1. So that's where I'm going to round it. I'm going to round it according to that, my worst calculation, in the 1's place. So when I round it, 18.5 becomes 18. Kind of odd, but remember, we've got those rules for rounding on significant figures. Let me do a quick review. If the number was 17.5, that would round up to 18. If the number is 18.5, that rounds down to 18. So the key thing that makes these two problems different is the number to the left of the 5. So that number, in this case, is an odd number and an even number. If the number to the left of the 5 is odd, you round up. Basically, you always think about rounding up. The only time you don't round up is when the number to the left is even and there's nothing to the right of the 5. It's either all zeros or there's nothing written there. So for example, if the number was 18.500, that would also round down to 18. But if the number was, say, 18.51 or 18.5001, that would round up. If there's anything after that 5 to the right of that 5, it's going to round up to 19.